What's up, makers? Nate Javier here. It's awesome seeing you guys. Uh, happy Friday. We're glad you guys decided to join us. So on social media, we asked you, and we wanted to make sure with you that you wanted to see this, and so we're going to share this skill with you. As you saw from the title of the video, we want to share three ways you can shuffle like a pro. Now, I know that you've gone to card games with your family, like Go Fish, or maybe you do a poker night, but you always avoid the deck of cards, so you're not the one who has to shuffle because you don't really know the right way how. So like I said today, we're gonna show you the top three ways that you can look like a card pro. Let's go. All right, so the first shuffle we're gonna show you guys is kind of a basic one. And although I say basic, it's meant for a lot of people because you end up being that person or you know that person that just scrunches the cards together and they end up going everywhere and that happens. Jump cut. So to prevent you from being that person, let's show you the overhand shuffle. It's super simple. Now if you take the cards in your left hand, if you're right-handed, and just mirror what I'm doing if you're uh, left-handed, and you place your index, middle, and ring finger on one side and your thumb on the opposite corner towards you, what we're going to do is have your right hand as a catcher's mitt to peel off a group of cards and let them fall on your hand. Peel off another group and another group. And you're just going to keep going until you're done with all the cards. And uh, this is just a quick knack and you can get this down pretty quickly. The one mistake though that I do see a lot of people that ends up like this. So pro. Is that uh, they move both their right and their left hands at the same time. And we showed you earlier how messy this can get and it just cards go everywhere. Ugh. So what I want to do is help you uh, choose how to make that better. So it's either you move your right hand or your catching hand towards the deck and pull away, or just move your left hand towards your catcher's mitt and just drop those off. And that was the uh, overhand shuffle. Let's check out the Hindu. So the second shuffle is a little bit more intermediate. It's called the Hindu shuffle. Uh, if you are a magician, you probably know that this can be used for some tricky stuff. And if not, this is a better variation of the overhand shuffle. It makes you look like you know what you're doing. So what you're gonna do is pinch the back side of your deck of cards. Where the short end is, that's closest to you, you're gonna pinch it with your three key fingers and your right hand if you're right-handed, your index middle ring. And while you're holding it with the face of the cards down, you're gonna use your left hand as the catcher's mitt. And similar to the overhand shuffle, you're going to use one hand to pull in and take off the packet and drop. Pull in, off, so on and so forth, all the way through. And that's as simple as it is. It doesn't take too much, and now you're on your way to be a pro. Let's check out the table riffle. So this shuffle is a little bit more advanced. It's called the table riffle. You can see it in Expert at the Card Table and Card Control Books. Um, this one is really gonna take some practice because it takes a knack, uh, but let's get into it. So what you're gonna do is with your right hand and your left hand, similar to the Hindu shuffle kind of grip, you're gonna pinch one end and then you're gonna pitch the other end with both hands. So you're in this kind of like weird rock star kind of like yeah, grab the deck kind of thing. Uh, what you're gonna do is with your right thumb, you're going to lift up about half the packet, kind of just pivoting off of those fingers right there, and you're going to pull it to the right side. So again, that top packet goes off to the right side while these fingers on your left hand pull to the left. So now you're in this position. What we're going to do is, with the, using the same fingers to be an anchor on the ends, use your thumbs uh, to hit the back side because they're just going to pull up with this riffle action. Your index finger is going to curve in just to make sure they don't lift off the table and you get your riffle. So again, and bring it in like that. And after the shuffle, you square them up by using your index fingers, come to the sides, push them in and pinch the corners. From another angle, here you go. 
separate, pull up, and square. And that's the uh, table riffle. It does take the knack, but now you can be an expert. All right, guys, so that's it. We hope you actually learned a little something to kind of change things up. So next time you're at that family affair, if you're just uh, enjoying a nice, friendly game of poker with the friends, now you know how to shuffle like a pro. We want to thank our friends here at Grow Coffee and Tea just for letting us film here and just hang out and things like that. So if you get a chance, we'll leave their address down below. Come grab some coffee if you're in the local SoCal area. Uh, with that, if you enjoyed the tutorial and, or if you have suggestions for something else that you want us to show you or to do better, leave us a comment down below. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up if you like what you see. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.